Tove, Mr. E-A-Z-Y-E does it back at it with another video for today. I got a new little package right here. It's actually two boxes, but I'm going to be installing some 454 SS mirrors on my OBS because <clears throat> I got tired of these mirrors. I mean, they're all right. They're like aftermarket. They're not OEM style, so they're all faded, black, nasty, or whatever. I had repainted them like, I want to say like two years ago when I took them off to supposedly color matching, but you know, that was a total fail, so... It is what it is, but they're all nasty now, so I just want to give it a new look anyway. So, you know, we got to switch things up a little bit on the OBS, you already know. But here are the mirrors right here, 454 SS style. They're pretty small, whatever. I had already opened them yesterday. Man, when I first opened them, bro, I really thought that these were the little things where the bolts went in. I was like, man, you tripping, like, nothing is going to be able to go in here. But then I found out it comes off. But the only kind of part that sucks about these mirrors, obviously they're aftermarket, they're not original, but these little things right here are made out of plastic. It's not no metal, nothing like that. It's just straight up plastic, which I have a feeling is going to end up breaking over time, you know. But, you know, it's just for now. Some some slide 454 says, look at me right here. Ooh. But I am going to be installing them right now. First, we got to take off this door panel right here, which sucks, bro. It really does. So I know I think I believe on 95 and up, you don't got to take the door panel off. All you got to do is just take off this little piece right here. But obviously, this one covers the entire thing, you know. So we got to take off the little pin from the manual window roller right here which is annoying as hell bro it's a pain to take off then i gotta take this off i gotta screw this then i gotta take off the entire panel which sometimes gets stuck or whatever i'm like bro it's such a hassle just taking off one damn panel so here's the little clip that i was talking about i don't know if you can guys see it, but there's two of them one on the left side one over here on the right side now you can't really see it but it's such a hassle because if you lose the little clip, then you're screwed because this thing will go in, but it'll fall down while you're rolling it down. And so I can't really talk that loud because there's people out here. I don't want them thinking I'm crazy as hell. But I finally got it off and see, it just comes right off if it's not super stuck, see? Because you can put it back in there like that, but while you're rolling it down over time, it's going to fall down. Right now, obviously, I just took it off, so it's going to be able to go in easy, but trust me don't lose this little pen also be careful taking out this little plastic right here see because you can break off the tabs because obviously it's really old stuff oem stuff so it's gonna break off easily but just make sure to pop it up carefully see pop it right here i'll do this one i'll take it off and bam i'll take it off easily because i have no clips holding the door panel anyways and just like that easy to take out what kind of you have experience but this is what i'm talking about see you can't really have access to taking off these damn bolts right here it's gonna be a pain in the ass to take them off plus i got the little 3m right here from the i forgot what these were called sun visors or whatever i don't know the rain guard plus it's stuck right here so i gotta figure out a way to take it off because damn oh just a little quick tip if you're having a struggle trying to take this one off because these two are kind of easy to access I already took them off but this one just use one of these and just try to do your best because i was able to do it right now i don't know but i'll be able to take it off i promise and bam just like that i was able to take it off i told it was kind of easy see i was able to take out the 3m tape with no hassle anyway so you so i was able to put the mirror in it looks nice i'll do it like a after and before because i still haven't changed out that that one but i'm having such a struggle trying to put this bolt in because my hand is too damn big to fit in there and i'm scared i'm gonna end up dropping the freaking screw so i have to figure something out because i already got those two in but damn I just don't want to drop it, bro. I'm scared. Man, thank the Lord, bro. I was able to get it in without dro dropping it. Holy crap. <laughs> so I put the door panel back on and everything. Only problem was I kind of ripped this off because it was already falling apart. So I'm, I'm going to wipe everything down clean. I'm going to just re-glue it down so it'll be like brand new. I just dropped it. But here's a little after and before. And before y'all complain, the reason I switched them out was because they're just nasty so they're aftermarket they're not oem so i repainted them a long time ago so they're all nasty either ways i'm gonna keep them instead in case i decide to color match them or something like that in the future but personally i just want to switch it up a bit before after right here see 
kind of like the 454 ones better because it gives it like a sporty look to it now i'm about to do this other side it should be the same obviously as the other side i'm not gonna record myself doing it but i'll just show you the after yeah this i came out nice as hell the only problem that i had with it was the fitment i don't know what's with this truck everything on the right side i have problems trying to fit everything in but the left side fits perfectly like it's a little bit loose because I lost one of the screws, obviously, but I, I'll, I'll just replace it later on. But yeah, I took off the rain guard real quick because I'm going to adjust it. Like I said, I always have a problem with the fitment on these. And either way, it was kind of peeling off because I took off the other mirror. So I might as well just fix it. I got 3M tape anyway. So yeah, let me just fix this real quick. I don't know if I, don't know if I said on the last clip, but I did take off the rain guard. And I had to put new 3M tape because when I first put them on, i don't know the the fitment on them sucked really bad like it looked all crooked so i was just like man screw i'm gonna just make do something about it so i took it off took off the old 3m tape y'all can tell i took out this part but it's skinny as hell i think i'm gonna just add a bigger piece right there i'm not really sure yet but you so that's that it didn't really make a difference well kind of because you can see the marks right here from the old tape i still gotta take it off but it kind of helped a little bit not really you know aftermarket stuff sucks in general and for the most asked question that people always get with these type of mirrors is can you actually see out of them to be honest yes you can still see <laughs> you can still see out of them which i'm really used to these type of mirrors because i drive another car whose mirrors are like the same kind of size i think just a little bit smaller but i can still see out of them unless you're you're really used to the other mirrors that i had or the elephant ear style ones and yeah it's gonna be such a huge difference but you'll get used to it honestly i still gotta adjust that other mirror but see it's not that much of a view but like i said i'm used to it so it just goes on i guess experience which i should say and that's gonna be everything for this video i still gotta fix this little door handle thing i tried super gluing it but it didn't work i'll figure something out you already know mr eazye always finds a way out you already know but make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment if you guys prefer these mirrors or the elephant ear ones or the ones that i had before you already know just let me know down in the comments which one looks better on my truck because this truck's been through three type of mirrors already but like i said make sure to give it a thumbs up comment because it helps the youtube algorithm to get my videos pushed out there and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button come check out the rest of my videos yes sir and go follow me on instagram at easy does i usually keep y'all updated right there in case y'all care about me or my truck Oh, well, it is what it is. But yes, I we should have known by now. Mr. E-A-Z-Y-E does it. And I'll just catch you on the next one. Peace.